Welcome to this new video tutorial of Atlas DI. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to create copy bundle files. Copy bundle files are special files whose purpose are first to serve as a backup procedure and second to facilitate the process of migration, in other words, of moving the project file from one computer to another. So let's see how we should proceed with this. At the end of each work session, I recommend that you do the following. Obviously, you save the project. You go to Project, Save, Copy, Bundle. Create Bundle. And look for a location different from the location where you have this project file stored. I would say an external drive, drive E in this case. I created a folder in drive E, which is a flash drive. And I named that folder Copy Bundle Files. And this is where I will keep my project files. I will add the date. And I will click Save. Now, when you, let's say, move the project from computer A to computer B, now the bundle has been created and saved. Let's say that I am now in another computer. I open Atlas DI, go to Project, unpack Copy Bundle. Look for the folder where I have saved that Copy Bundle file, which is uh, Drive E and install the uh, file. I want to determine the location of the file. You may decide to install the project anywhere you want in Atlas DI. So let me see. I am going to select my desktop, save, and bundle. Uh -huh. uh, now what do we have? We have the entire project file was uh, transferred from computer A to computer B. Now let's suppose that um, your computer crashes and you lose everything. You lose your entire project as well as the source documents. But if you have this copy bundle file saved in a safe location, uh, then you can start your project again. Uh, in any computer that has Atlas DI installed. The copy bundle file can be saved in a flash drive. It could be stored in Dropbox or a cloud system like that one, anywhere you consider it to be safe. So please keep do that uh, regularly. Now, uh, copy bundles should be created when you work with projects whose documents have been added to the library, add documents, my library or team library, or when you have assigned external documents. If you're only working with survey data and that is all you have, then uh, there is no need to create copy bundles. However, I would say as a general recommendation, in case of doubt, just go ahead and do it at the end of each work session create your copy bundle file, keep it in a safe location, and then you will be perfectly fine in case of any problems with your computer. Thank you very much. This finalizes this session of the video tutorials.